Today, once more, they will replenish themselves, cheat death again, through the power of their source. Matt Stone, 180DegreeHealth.com Hey, boys and girls, it's Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health, and it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, but um, I've been a little bummed about doing the YouTube videos. I think it's because the people who follow the blog are not so much into watching videos. The people who watch videos are not so much into reading. <laughs> so we have sort of two different audiences and so from now on I'm going to try to keep it separate and not be quite so stiff as well because I think when I get really cerebral and I'm talking to my blog audience who's been following me for a year or more, uh, a newcomer might find me and be totally uh, mystified about what I'm saying. So anyways, I'll try to keep it a little bit more uh, newbie, noob friendly. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, junk food. When can junk food be used as a tool to bring about a positive change? Now you can see the shirt powered by pancakes. It's a little bit too small, which is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But <laughs> anyways, um, I'm not talking about junk foods like hanging out, eating uh, lots of Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew and stuff like that necessarily, but I am talking about just typical standard American or Western type of foods, stuff like pancakes, waffles, pizza, cheeseburgers, french fries, uh, milkshakes, ice cream, cookies, pie, you know, all that kind of stuff that we could consider to be sort of junk foods, uh, I'm finding does have a role to play in all this. Uh, my focus obviously is metabolism and the ultimate tool to raise metabolism when your metabolism is low is the calorie. So the advantage of these sort of refined foods in that specific circumstance is that it can really raise your metabolism much more quickly than any other type of foods. One, they're more tasty, so you actually are able to eat more before you reach your point of satisfaction or fullness. Um, another advantage is that they absorb more completely. There's a lot of intangible benefits as well because when you're actually eating these foods that you've been afraid of, if you're coming from a really you know health food type of background, um, it's really reassuring and relieving to see that your health can actually improve from eating these foods that you're so scared of. Nobody wants to be scared of eating things. Everybody wants to be able to go into a social situation with friends and family and holidays and all that kind of stuff and be able to eat whatever they want. And being able to actually eat all these foods and see that they don't cause instant death is actually quite relieving. It can be uh, the relief of a huge burden of stress that's been on your shoulders for who knows how long. And um, anyways, I'm just not a big fan of phobias when it comes to food, and I like to see people become liberated from their beliefs about food and reconnect with their bodies. But that type of food, specifically in a low metabolism type of situation, can really help to get the body temperature up more quickly. I have people go from 95-ish, 96 degrees, all the way up to 99 now in as little as three weeks, waking up and eating stuff like pancakes and things like that. Uh, perhaps an even more beneficial property, we can actually take advantage of the properties of these type of highly palatable standard American type of foods and use them to our advantage because a lot of people have really low concentrations of energy, salt and sugar uh, basically for you know simplicity's sake in the cells. Uh, energy levels are really low when metabolism is low. So eating foods that have a high water content which would be more the unrefined foods, fruits and things like that especially can really really wipe you out. Uh, things with a very high water content can actually keep your cells from rebuilding their energy supply because the water content is too, is too high. So eating foods that have a lower water content and are more calorie dense, stuff like pancakes with lots of syrup and things like that in the morning without drinking or eating a bunch of uh, water rich foods and juices and drinks and all that kind of stuff really makes a huge difference when it comes to really soaking up all that nutrition into the cells and that's what makes the hands and feet nice and toasty and gives you a big spike in metabolism especially earlier in the day when people really need it the most. So that's one of the most important uses of junk food and how we can use it to our advantage. I'm not advocating it as a long-term diet or thinking that we should that junk food is actually superior to what we consider to be health food but you can certainly use it in transition to bring your metabolism up as quickly as possible and then slowly transition into more of a normal, healthy, nutritious type of diet. Anyways, uh, that's the first, and in video number two, we'll talk about uh, the second advantage of these junk foods and what they can be used for. Subscribe.
subscribe to the 180 Degree Health Channel now, or you will be abducted by lesbian Nazi hookers from outer space and forced into a weight loss program. It doesn't matter what you had for lunch.